Friends, if you're interested in the latest stimulus news, watch this video. Trump pulled a fast one on us tonight. He signed the bill. Okay, so we're going to talk about that in this video. We're going to go through uh, the key pieces of the bill so that you'll understand how it impacts you. And we're going to also talk about when you're likely to see some money from the federal government. So if you're interested in hearing more about the latest uh, the news with respect to stimulus, watch this video. For those of you who are new to me, welcome to my channel. I'm La Latoya McBean Pompey. I'm an immigration lawyer and also a concerned citizen. So what's going on on this stimulus front? So the last I reported out to you guys, uh, and I know you've been following the news as well, so you've been staying up to date on things, but the last I reported out to you, the House of Representatives had passed uh, the, the stimulus package um, as part of a massive government funding bill, 2.3 trillion to be exact. And embedded in that is the 900 billion COVID relief bill. And that bill quickly went over to the Senate. They passed it and then they sent it on to President Trump. And he did what? He sat on it. He sat on it for several days and he said, you know what? This bill is flawed, which we know it is. What bill uh, goes through the U.S. Congress um, without any flaws? But it was flawed. And uh, he said, listen, we need to cut out the pork, cut out all of this other stuff, uh, the foreign aid and all of this other stuff, and also give people more money, give them the $2,000. Um, you know, $600 is just not enough. And so Christmas came and he did not sign the bill and he went to Mar-a-Lago and uh, the bill was sent over there to him and lo and behold, he signed it today. Uh, meanwhile, unemployment benefits lapsed for quite a bit of people. Um, I want to say 12 million, as a matter of fact, uh, yesterday on Saturday. And the government was about to be shut down in another couple of days if President Trump did not act decisively and he did so here's what um what's in the bill let's gonna let's go into the details of the bill to refresh our memory about how much money are we likely to see and when is it likely to happen okay so let's go into that now and talk about the first issue which is the 166 billion in direct stimulus checks um so this is the way that the checks are going to be distributed $600 per individual who made, made less than $75,000 uh, in 20, 2019. And then for couples, it's $1,200 per couple making less than $150,000. Uh, $600 per child. Again, child in this context is defined as someone who is under 17. So if you are 17, you and and you're uh you're out you're out 17 18 19 years young adults are out of this one unfortunately a uh, family of two adults and two kids will get twenty four hundred dollars again provided that they meet that income threshold now this um the payments decrease by five dollars for every additional one hundred dollars of income starting at that seventy five thousand dollar mark and so it's going to cut off entirely at ninety nine thousand adult dependents are not eligible for this and mixed households guys uh immigrant households uh those of you who are undocumented or unauthorized and you're married to a u.s citizen um uh or a green card holder who had been filing taxes you are now eligible those households i should say are now eligible for a stimulus check now, unemployment benefits have been extended $300 a week uh, through March 14th. Now, the thing about that is that, uh, is it going to be the full 11 weeks? Uh, at this point, it doesn't really look that way because of the delays and also because some states are going to need some more time to rework their system and get things going again 
with respect to these benefits. Uh, rental assistance, really important, um, guys, that you take, you listen to this one. Rental assistance, uh, there is $25 billion in there for that, um, to provide that service. Now, the thing is, the money will go to the states. The money will go to the states, and both the tenant and the landlord are able to apply for um, these emergency rental assistance. Uh, you've got, I th you know, you've got to act very quickly, pay attention to, um, you know, when these uh, programs are up and uh, going, pay attention real closely to this so that you don't miss your opportunity to go after some rental assistance. And again, this covers back rent, um, starting from the start of the pandemic, uh, and it extends into maybe three months into the future from what, uh, I'm understanding from the bill. And so there's a nice chunk of time here that the, the rental assistance can cover for those of you who are, um, facing extremely hard times and you fell behind on your rent. Okay. Now the federal eviction moratorium has been extended until the end of January. We'll see what happens with that one. We'll see what Biden does. I know that president Trump, uh, did some sort of, uh, moratorium as well, uh, by executive order a several few months ago. We'll see if Biden picks up on that unless Congress acts. And there's another stimulus bill that that, um, will be on the table. Okay. Small business, small business help. So PPP, the paycheck protection program is getting an infusion of dollars. We're talking about 284 billion to be precise. And so, um, small businesses out there, um, you know, you have another opportunity to get some additional support, uh, from the stimulus package. Businesses in low income communities may apply for the EIDL uh, grants. Uh, there's 20 billion in this for uh, those uh, small, those businesses. And then there's additional dollars in there for independent movie theaters and cultural institutions and such. Okay, what else if impacts real people? Uh, education, right? There's 82 billion in there for education providers, schools, uh, colleges. There's uh, additional resources for Pell grants. 10 billion for child care assistance. 13 billion uh, went into the food uh, food stamp program and child nutrition program. Border wall, guys, border wall. Trump is getting additional dollars into 2021 to continue the border uh, project, the wall project. Tax credits to support employers offering paid sick leave. And then state and government, they're not really getting that much under this proposal, but they will be getting an extension to spend the CARES dollars. So the last time we spoke about this, we talked about the fact that, well, we should have had some money by now, right? Because Secretary Mnuchin had said, oh, millions will get their check next week. And that was last week. <laughs> um, and 100 million checks to be deposited uh, on December 28th, which is tomorrow, and that's not going to happen. And so uh, what they're looking at uh, at this point, guys, is um, maybe by the January 4th, some of us will see the, um, uh, direct deposit. You know, if you, if the government has your bank account information on file on record, then there will be a deposit into the account. Now, January 4th is what I'm hearing, but let's see how this plays out over this coming week. And, um, the other thing to note is that, there were no real modifications that were made to this bill, okay, that President Trump signed. It was kind of absurd for him to hold it up because it's not like, you know, what what did it do? What 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 did it accomplish? Um, but there's but my understanding from reading um in the media and CNN, I wanna say, yeah, I believe it was CNN, and I'm gonna pull up that article. Here it is. So CNN reported tonight that the reason Trump decided to sign the bill is because he worked out some sort of agreement. Here it is. He worked out some sort of agreement with the Senate, uh, got some sort of commitment from them uh, that there would be another legislation that would 
provide stimulus in the funds of uh, in the amount of two thousand dollars. And here's what the uh, CNN article says: Trump signaled in a statement Sunday night that he signed the coronavirus relief bill only after securing a commitment for the Senate to consider legislation to increase stimulus checks from six hundred to two thousand. However, uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, however, did not reference that commitment in his own statement Sunday night, praising the Trump for, for signing the relief bill. So we'll see how that political issue plays out, uh, whether there will be another round of stimulus checks. And if so, um, we'll, we'll just have to keep an eye out for it. But for now, the $900, the, the $900 billion COVID relief bill has been signed into law and um, the checks are going to be issued. Checks are going to be issued. So you didn't, we didn't get the money in time for Christmas, but you know, it, it, it's, it's supposed to be coming very, very soon. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts below. Um, comment below. Let me know whether you want to see more stimulus news videos. Be sure to share this with your friends on uh, WhatsApp, on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, if you are new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe um, and stay tuned to my upcoming videos, which I publish each week. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.